My question is to the Minister of Health. <laughs> it's about time we smile in here a bit. In my riding of Algoma, Manitoulin, the Manitoulins. Oh, my question is to the Minister of Health. In my riding, the Manitoulin Central Family Health Team in the town of Mindamoya. Does anybody know where that is? Is working out of trailers. Is working out of trailers in cramped spaces in the basement of their local hospital. After two years working on a capital expansion plan, and despite the best efforts of local stakeholders, the family health team has no response to their plan. And so the hardship continues, working out of those trailers in cramped spaces. Can the minister let my constituents know when this important project will finally be approved? Minister of Health. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member from Algoma, Manitoulin, uh, for raising this issue. We know how important family health teams are, Speaker. That's why we've created 200 of them. And the people of Mindamoya, Speaker, deserve access to the best possible care. And the, the uh, staff of the family health team, the doctors and the other professionals there also deserve to live in, to work in a, a building that uh, reflects the importance of what they do, Speaker. I will undertake to, uh, to take a look at this application and see where we are with it. And thanks again to the member for raising the issue. Supplementary. Right member from Bruce Gray, come to order. Yeah. Thank you, Minister, for, for that response. And I, the, the constituents from uh, Manitoulin will look forward to getting that response going forward. However, the patients of this family health team include some of the sickest and most vulnerable in Ontario, including many from First Nations, and there are many on Manitoulin Island. The minister can talk a good game about the importance of family health teams and health equity, but she needs to follow up this talk with action to help those that are most in need. Will the minister do the right thing, accept the capital expansion plan, or at least explain what barriers are preventing her from supporting it?